Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Milillo, and I work in Dr. Jan Genzer's lab doing polymer science research. Polymers are chemicals consisting of many of the same repeat units connected to each other over and over, forming a long chain, kind of like spaghetti. Our goal is to fundamentally understand how liquids interact with polymeric materials, and we're studying the wettability, which is how a liquid droplet spreads on the polymer surface, as well as how liquids are absorbed into polymer materials. But why should you care about this? Well, when you're driving in the rain, it's critically important that your rubber tires, which are made of polymers, strongly adhere to the wet road to transport you safely. Additionally, polymers serve as the soft substrates used in microfluidic devices, which are small, simple, and cheap devices that have the potential to perform medical tasks, such as blood tests or diagnose diseases. So it's critically important that we understand how these polymers and liquids interact with each other. We're working with a water repellent polymer called polydimethylsiloxane, or PDMS, because it's used widely in microfluidics. PDMS is a viscous liquid, but we can transform that into an elastic solid, like a rubber band, or even a brittle, rigid solid, by performing a chemical reaction called cross-linking. So we start with PDMS of a certain chain length, and then we add solvent, or a pasta sauce, which improves the mixing. Lastly, we add sausage pieces, or cross-linker molecules, and these connect multiple chain ends to each other at a single point, or junction, forming a three-dimensional polymer network, or gel. Short chains tend to produce a more ordered structure, and that gives us these rigid gels that don't absorb very much liquid. On the other hand, the long chains tend to produce a more tangled structure, and that gives us these flexible gels that can absorb very large amounts of liquid. Changing the amount of solvent and cross-linkers can push these properties to the extreme, giving us highly rigid or highly flexible materials. Now, the relationship between deformability and absorption isn't all that surprising, but what did surprise us was the wettability. Similar to a Rain-X coated windshield, our flexible PDMS is hydrophobic, which means that water beads up on the surface. This is characterized as having a contact angle greater than 90 degrees or a small contact area with the substrate. Alternatively, the rigid PDMS strangely exhibits hydrophilic behavior, where the water droplet spreads out on the surface and has a larger contact area with the substrate, like an untreated windshield. Now, rigid and flexible PDMS are both made of predominantly just PDMS chains, so from a chemical perspective, we didn't expect the wettability to change very much, but indeed it does. Based on this research, we have now mapped out the relationship between deformability and wettability. We can control the liquid spreading on these gels over a large contact angle range of about 25 degrees. This enables us to design better materials such as safer tires or more efficient microfluidic devices. Thank you.